Hello and welcome back to another Final Table Commentary. If at any point in time you find yourself not caring for the commentary, there will be a link in the description down below to the video and BCP Poker Replay's YouTube account. So if you choose to do so, you can check out the action in some silence. With that being said, let's hop on into it. We got a 10k PKO from WCOOP 2023. Romeo Pro going to start things off with an ace and a jack and they're going to raise it on up under the gun. Boppity boo. We got Joe Lobo. We got LaQuendon, Star Winds, Pwn Diddy, Watt and Los. Raid a lot with the short stack. Selawan. And we got Pivgar in the big blind with a king and a four defending. Jack, three, two, flop goes check. Bet, fold, and we're moving along. Bobbity boo. So we got about 90k for the win plus all the bounties on top of it. Should be close to 200 grand for the win. The rest of the numbers don't matter. Everybody's here for the title. Everybody here wants first place. Dollars are just numbers going up and down. Brrrr. Nobody really gives a shit about them. Pifgar will limp on in the queen and the nine. Romeo Pro with a four and a three. Thinking about a raise here. They are going to find it. Three blinds to go. Poppity boo. Pifgar will come along with the queen and the nine. We're playing about 70 blinds deep. 10 5 4. Flop goes check. Check? Bet? I don't know. What does Romeo Pro do? He made the pair of fours. They're going to check back the flop. Seven on the turn. Two flush draws out there. Pivgar with no straight draw. It's queen high. Does block some 8 9, which would call him. Does just land on the check option. The seven blinds in the middle are likely going Romeo Pro's way. Might see a little protection bet here with the two flush draws, plenty of straight draws. Instead, Romeo Pro says, let's just go to the river and pick off a bluff if it comes on in. Three of diamonds. Pivgar says, no, I'm done with the hand, my friend. Seven blinds in the middle are Romeo Pros. They will stick in the five big blind bet on the river with a two pair and the bet will get through. Interesting sizing and interesting bet there on the river with the two pairs. I believe there's a one liner to a six diamonds complete. We could have faced some aggression there on the river which would have been very scary. Queen nine was not going to pull any triggers but boppity boo. We'll keep our eye out on that for the future. Laquendon with king 7 suited and the big stack will raise under the gun. Pivgar thought about it with king 3 suited but they let it go. Joe Low bow in the big with an ace and a jack will call. King 5 5 flop goes jack bet call. Boopity boo boopity boo. 1.5 blinds into 5.6. We see a check bet raise. Joe Low bow putting a little bit of pressure on Laquendon here. Queen of hearts on the turn. Joe Low bow will slow down. Boopity boo with the straight draw to the 10 and over card. 16 blinds in the middle going Laquendon's way. I don't think they fold if another bet comes in. And Laquendon, or sorry, Joe Lobo with an ace and a jack isn't going to stick in another bet. Hearts complete on the river, but most importantly, any pair of kings makes a boat. Any pair of queens makes a boat. Joe Lobo with the Jack of Clubs. Probably a bad card to have here. Sees about a half pot size bet and will make the nice fold on the river. I was worried for him there. Pivgar with an ace and a nine. We'll raise it on up into Quentin's big blind. Jack four for Romeo Pro will hit the muck. Joe Lobo with a king and a jack of the same suit. Can play three bet call. Whoppity 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 doo -dah. They'll play call. 3-2 for LaQuendon. We'll stick in the 3-bet. We absolutely love to see it. Getting ace-9 to fold. And King Jack will probably fall a suit. Can you imagine if Joe Lobo reads into this, though? Oh, he thought about it for a second. I wanted to see him pull the trigger. But what do we do? Do we jam? Do we put our tournament life on the line with Raidalot sitting there with 17 blinds? It's only about a 3k ladder we can make if uh, Raidalot's gone, so Alonzo. Then there's still Wattenlos and Selawan sitting at about 40 blinds each. Star wins at 26. Joe Lobo with 55. Would have been a very, very interesting back raise jam. It obviously would have worked out because the Quinton at 3 2. But maybe a back raise jam just doesn't make sense. Obviously, it would work out in this instance. But uh, what's this going on here? 3 5 suited for Romeo Pro says, I want Wattenlos bounty. Pwn Diddy in the big with an ace and a king will stick in the three bet. Wattenlow says licking their lips. Boppity boo, ace and an ace. 
They jam it all in. Romeo Pro will get out of the way, certainly. Ace and a king will call. King on the flop. Another king on the turn. Seriously, poker serves. Watanlos uh, is gone. That was so rude. I mean, it was a cooler against Pwn Diddy and, like, in Watanlos' favor pre-flop. But that turn card was pretty ridiculous there, Poker Stars. Anyways, we got another Ace Jack for Joe Lobo. Trying to bluff another pair of Kings of Lequendon's. Not going to work out. Lequendon with the flush draw will come along to the five of clubs on the river with that top pair. Buppity buppity boo. Eleven blinds in the middle will be theirs. They'll bet 3.5. Joe Lobo might look this up here. They do block Jack 10 and Ace 10, but they're still ahead of it. Nice fold by Joe Lobo once again. Ace and a jack for star wins. Romeo Pro with the queen and the 10 offsuit will raise it on up. Queen jack for Pwn Diddy. Bopity boo. We'll see some sort of play here. Star wins can jam and just buy the pot. Then go for a non all in 3 bet just in case there's a few uh, callers or some shit. There's the 12.5 big blind 3 bet and the bet will get through. Ace 8 for Romeo Pro. We'll take another stab. This one will work out for him. Puppity boo. Man, I'm a big fan of Romeo Pro. They just throw chips around. They've got so many here today, too. 82 blinds. That 3 5 suited call was so cool. Obviously, it didn't work out, but, anyways, Romeo Pro has an ace and a 10. Right a lot rips in the King Jack suited for 15 blinds. I think Romeo Pro is going to land on the call here. I'm just wrong. That $2,500 bounty was not enticing enough for Romeo Pro. Dippity doo, do 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 do. Ace four for Pivgar will raise it on up. Joe Lobo in the big with a king and a jack will defend. Ten eight six flop goes check. Do we check the ace high? Pivgar says no. We're gonna go for a small bet ski here. The board's a little bit too wet for any any checking. Joe Lobo just finds the fold with the king high. Nice little scoop for Pivgar. Ace and a queen for Laquendon. Might get a walk here. That's a damn shame. It was suited and booted. Laquendon was ready to go to war. Gets a walk instead. So everybody's locked up the 16 grand. That's cool to note. Nobody really gives a shit. Pwn Diddy got a nice bounty there. Everybody's pretty ecstatic about that. 108 blinds for Pwn Diddy. Watting those with 80 blinds is pretty scary. What's more scary? Pwn Diddy with 100 blinds or Watting those with 80? Both pretty scary. But then when again you look at around the table, I'm thinking about it from my perspective as just some random bloke. I just imagine myself, oh my lord, the king eight four bet. I should just shut the hell up. Laquendon folding the queen and the jack. Seeing Romeo Pro put on a little show. And I'm talking about my own damn perspective. Anyways, what I was saying is just like if I was at the final table, like if I'm in Raid a lot shoes with 17 blinds. Sitting here. What is this, a 5k? Super unlikely I'd be sitting on the final table. Super unlikely I'd enter the tournament. Just never gonna happen. <laughs> um, anyways, but it's just like, what's more scary for me? Wattenless with 80 blinds? Pwn Diddy with 100? I don't know, I'm pretty terrified of the whole table. I don't even want to play the game if we're being honest. <laughs> you just get put in such difficult situations. Man, it hurt my brain. Anyways, we're going to move along. Romeo Pro with a 3 and a 3. Laquendon with a 6 and a 10, making a pair of 6s. The 6s hold on up. But they're vulnerable to a bet ski here. Laquendon did check back the turn, so maybe he's looking just to check call on the... Uh, not check call on the river, but call a bet on the river. Check to call a bet on the river is the sentence I'm trying to construct. Just did not work out there. Anyways, Pivgar with a 9 and a 9 will raise it on up. Joe Lobo with a jack and a jack will call. Star wins with a couple of ducks. We see a duck in the big blind going to be folded. 5-3 for Pwn Diddy will call from the small. There's a duck on the flop. Queen 10-2 goes check, 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 bet. I think the board's way too wet. Queen 10-2, two, two spades. 5-3 will fold, 9s will fold, jacks will call for 1. 4 of spades on the turn. I don't know how much longer Jolo Bo hangs in there. He blocks some straight draws. Doesn't have any spade in his hand. Sees a 6 big blind bet on the turn into 16. 
And this is pretty strong from Star Winds, and Joe Lobo will just lay down the jacks. Ooh, a couple of kings for Star Winds. Looks like they're going to get a few chips. A raise from Joe Lobo, a 3 bet from Star Winds, a raid a lot fold with the A7 silhouette in the same boat. 8 5 suited. Everybody says, I wish I could have gone with the flop. Except Raid a lot, A7 offsuit. Doesn't really give a shit. Anyways, Joe Lobo with that 9 10 suited will just fold to the 3 bet. Star Winds is up to 42 blinds. The Quendon with an ace and a 9 will raise it on up. Bone Diddy with an ace and a 10 will do some sort of something here. Might just fold. I doubt it. 100 blinds deep. Let's go for the 3 bet. Ace 9 suited for Le Quendon. Doopity doo. We'll just land on the fold. <clears throat> a7 for Le Quentin, a Jack for Pwn Diddy. We'll see a raise and a call this time. Pivgar in the small with a king jack will fold. Romeo in the big with a queen and a nine. It's not suited, but they like to see flops. Doopity doo. 10, 8, 6 flop goes check, check. Pwn Diddy with a nut flush draw, backdoor flush, ah, uh, backdoor straight draw. Backdoor royal flush draw, even. Puts in a little bet ski here. Romeo Pro looking for a 7 or a jack. The board's super weird here. Two hearts. Romeo Pro without a heart. Doopity doo. The bet's so small. Romeo Pro says, we gotta juice this pot here. Quentin quickly folds the straight draw. Pwned it, he's going nowhere. Nine on the turn. Doopity doo. Romeo Pro has the best hand for the time being, but Pwned it, he has so many outs. Any seven? Um, what about an ace? How about a queen? A heart? Doopity doo. Do 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 do. That's a lot of outs. One time dealer. 23 blinds in the middle. Romeo Pro does check on over to Pwned it, he here. They block Queen Jack, which is the nuts. We're just going to go to the river. Pwn Diddy sees an 8 of hearts. They're just like, yes! Yes! I don't know if Romeo Pro calls a bet here. Do they block bet? Do we bet like 2.3 blinds? Do something silly. Do it. Do we even waste those chips? Romeo Pro might just check fold and save the 2.3 blinds. They're deep in the tank here. They are going to go for some sort of block bet. Make it eight bigs to go. Boppity boo. Pwn Diddy with the best possible flush. Except for some of the straight flushes. Boppity boo. On a pair of bird. Pwn Diddy will call with the ace high flush. And take the pot down. It's bad news for Romeo Pro. They're down to 56 bigs. A little bit less chips to throw around. But they're still in third place. Pwn Diddy with a king and a jack. Will three bet like Quendon once again. Ace King this time for Le Quendin. Gonna flop. Hmm, what? Backdoor straight draws. Backdoor flush draw. A couple of overcards. Out of position, 100 blinds deep. This isn't gonna be easy for Le Quendin, but we see a small bet on the flop. We'll continue to the turn. Eight of spades. Not what we wanted to see. Nope. Hopefully, Pwn Diddy slows down. I don't think it's gonna happen. King Jack. Needs to put in another barrel here. 19 blinds to go for Lequendon. This is very unfortunate. The Ace King might hit the muck here. Nice call by Lequendon. Five of diamonds on the river. 65 blinds in the middle. 72 behind. Pwn Diddy thinks, oh, that's a brick on the river. But they are just going to check, and Ace King will take the 62 blinds. That's a huge pot going Lequendon's way. Boppity boo. First place position for them with 136 bigs. I wonder what they do facing a river bet. Like, what if it's like 30 blinds? Just something super difficult. All in? Hmm. Feels a little bit more easy to call. Boppity bop. I don't know why, but it does. Anyways, we got a couple of pair of queens here. Joe Lobo with the king high. We'll let it go. Ace on the turn. We'll slow both players down. Romeo Pro could always go for a little bet and then check back the river. I don't think Lequendon folds to a small bet on the turn. It is about half pot. They'll still find a call here. King on the river. We'll go check check and we'll chop the pot. 
Romeo Pro with a couple of sixes will raise it on up. Star wins in the big with Jack Seven of Spades. I don't know if we defend or not. Got like 30 some blinds. We are in fifth place. Starwind says let's go to the flop. Ace Jack 9 goes check. Hmm. 6-6 six, sees six, a fair board to go for the big bet, and the pair of jacks will just fold to the four big blind bet. Nicely done by Romeo Pro. That's why we like to see them with the big with the big stack as we see right a lot rip in. Ace and a nine. Ace and a ten for Star Winds will fold the small blind. That's good news for right a lot. They're hanging out with 13 bigs now. I thought Star Winds was gonna go bounty hunting, but people are giving Raid a lot a lot of respect here with their jams. Papity boo. Couple of ace tens hitting the muck. Ace 10 for Pivgar will go for the open. Romeo Pro will call with a couple of fives. Pwn Diddy calls from the small with a 10 8 suited. King King 4 flop. So who's even playing in the hand? What positions have we got going on here? Under the gun plus 1 and 2? But then what are they? Cut off high. Low jack. Romeo Pro in the low. Pivgar under the gun plus 1. Two on the turn, doobity doo, doobity doo. Goes check, check, queen on the river. Twelve blinds in the middle will slide Romeo Pro's way, providing they don't fold. But Pipgar with the ten of hearts is thinking about a bluff here. They all go for a big sizing if they do pull the trigger. They're in the time bank. Seven blinds. Oh, so not too, too large. Make it look like a value bet. You still could be value betting queen X. Romeo Pro's deep in the tank and still finds the call. Beautiful play by Romeo Pro. Man, I just love to see when they pick up chips. They're just a wizard. King 8 offsuit, and they don't give a shit. They say, let's go see a flop. The Quendin will stick in the 3 bet with the ace and the 9, and this will get through pre, I think. Unless Romeo Pro goes for some sort of 4 bet again. Not this time. Right a lot rips in the 9-10 off and gets it on through. That's good news for them. Bobbity boo. Hmm. So other than the Watton, those cooler. We haven't seen any bodies fly. What other, what else has gone on? Pwn Diddy lost a big pot against Laquendon with the King Jack off. Doopity doo. Laquendon with the Ace King made a big hero call on the turn for about 20 blinds. Doopity doo just with the Ace high. Other than that, Romeo Pro has been splashing around, making a pair of fours here, top pair for Pivgar. But when I say splashing around, it's oh, it's methodical. It's so beautiful. It's like, it's like a beautiful ballerina dance. Romeo Pro with the straight draw to the two, the backdoor flesh draw, the bottom pair. We'll bet two blinds into seven. We see the king of hearts on the turn. Not what Romeo Pro is looking for. I wonder if he checks back the turn. Or do we just turn up the heat and go bombs away? Romeo Pro says let's go to the river for free. Eight of diamonds on the river. That's two pair for Pivcar. Would like to see them check and let Romeo bra bluff. But Pivcar is a very strong holding. They might go for the value bet. Romeo Pro not afraid to make the hero call. Spades do miss. Six, six seven makes a straight. What else misses? Hmm. Not easy to find bluffs on the flop there. Nice fold by Romeo Pro. Queen 6 versus Queen 6. Blinds go into war. Romeo Pro might raise it up and take it down pre. 3.5 blinds to go and a quick fold by Joe Lobo. Joe Lobo with an ace and a 10. Hopefully they get a chance to pick up a few chips here. Pivgar with an ace and a 3. Could go for the open off 44 blinds. We might preserve our chips. Don't want to open into Quendon's big blind. Joe Lobo limps it on in. Quendon makes 3 of a kind with the 8-7. Joe Lobo checks it on over. Laquendon checks it back. Four on the turn. Goes check, bet, call. Ten on the river. Bad news for Joe Lobo. Flush draw misses. Straight draws miss. Bopity boo. They're going to call a bet ski here and it's going to be large. Ten blinds. Oh no. Laquendon, or sorry, Joe Lobo deep in the tank. Nice fold by Joe Lobo. Unfortunately, they've had to make about three of those so far. But they've been beautiful. Great game by Joe Lobo. Just unfortunate they're down to 25 blinds. 
They got a king and a jack. They'll raise into Starwind's big blind with a king and a jack. Hopefully they can find a way to steal a chip or two. 8-5-2 flop goes check, bet, fold. Nicely done, Joe Lobo. Doobity doo, pip guard with a couple of nines. We'll raise it on up. Romeo Pro with a king seven suited could go for a three bet. I don't know if we play call here or not. There's the three bet, six blinds to go. Pifgar, I don't think we fold. Doobity doo. Do we raise? I don't think so. Pifgar is thinking about it though. Romeo Pro is doing this a hell of a lot. Pivgar might just put in the four bet to say get off my dick. You know what he's gonna play call? Ace nine seven flop. That's middle set for Pivgar. Ace high board for Romeo Pro. He does block at the bottom set. He goes for a little betsky here. He's gonna try to get like some uh, king highs to fold. Bopity boo. Get called by some backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draws. Jack of diamonds on the turn. Interesting card for Romeo Pro as he picks up a diamond draw. He might just check it back and look to realize his equity. Bopity boo. Ace of diamonds on the river. Five of diamonds. Oh no. Pivgar is in trouble. Romeo Pro hits runner runner for the flush. Pivgar is thinking about a value bet. Oh no. Romeo Pro with the second nuts. I hope Pivgar doesn't jam. Goes for the 6.5 big blind bet. Okay. Romeo Pro will do the jamming. If I'm Pivgar, I call. He didn't take too, too long. Quick call by Pivgar. Just like that, Romeo Pro. With the big-ass stack, 116 blinds in the bounty. So another big-ass cooler. Pivgar's gone to Alonzo. Just like that, Raid a lot getting a couple of ladders. They don't really care. They haven't been able to pick up any chips, and that's what's most important. Ooh, Pwn Diddy with the set this time. Romeo Pro with a 9-7 offsuit. Is this a low jack raise? Oh, it's so beautiful. Laquendon with a couple of sixes from the cutoff. Queen three, two flop, goes check, check, bet. Call. Just call Pwn Diddy. There we go, beautiful play. There is a flush draw out there, but we gotta leave the opportunity for Romeo Pro to do something. And Laquendon with a pair of sixes, we gotta give him some rope as well. Jack of clubs on the turn, I think we'll go check, check. Jack on the river. Hmm, so Laquendon feels a little comfy with the sixes. Obviously there's a queen out there, a couple of jacks, isn't too bad. The spades miss. Pwn Diddy bets three blinds and he's going to get paid off. Had he bet any larger, I bet he also gets paid off, but he goes for the block bet with the boat. Bopity boo. Ace jack versus ace jack, Joe Lobo goes for the three bet. Oh sorry, there's a king jack. I thought that was an ace. I don't know what's wrong with me. Romeo Pro will fold the king jack. Boppity boo. Siloan with a king jack. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to hear from them. 9-9 nine, nine for star wins. We'll go for the open pwn diddy might 3 bet king 2 suited. They play call, actually. Of all the options, I wasn't expecting that. Romeo Pro with 8-5 off will complete the big blind. Ace-9-3 flop goes check, check. Does Pwn Diddy, Pwn Diddy bluff? They do put out a very small bet. 1.8 blinds into 7.3. Romeo Pro will fold. Good stuff. Man, I'm worried for him. <laughs> Aren't you just a little worried with that backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draws? You never know what's going to happen. King on the turn is good news for Pwn Diddy. They won't bluff anymore. King of clubs, even better. Flush draw completes. Pwn Diddy will slow right down. Four on the river. Starwind shouldn't get any value here. Starwind's also playing a great game. They go for the 3.5 big blind bet, so maybe Pwn Diddy calls, but this sure looks like value. What's bluffing on the f uh, that, uh, that called on the flop? Flush draw completes. Bopity boo. Nice fold by Pwn Diddy. <clears throat> Jack 4 suited for Laquendon. 133 blind says this is good enough for an open. Ray Lot will fold the threes and the Rays will get through. Boppity boo. Eight and an eight for Laquendon. Star wins with a jack and a jack will raise it on up. Selawan with an ace and a king. We see Romeo Pro folding a king. Joe Lobo with the queen ten. We'll see a jam and have to fold. 
Laquendon will also let go of the eights. We'll have a nice big flip ski here for Selawan's life. Call by Starwinds. No ace or king yet. Any ace or king? Nope, they're Gonzo Alonzo. Nice big bounty for Starwinds. Doopity doo. 56 blinds, 8 grand in the bank, plus the ladder. Pretty good deal for Starwinds right there. Romeo Pro with an 8 and a 9 of the same suit will limp it on in. Interesting. Change of pace. Uh, Laquendon with the ace, uh, ace 10. I don't know why things got so difficult to say there. They go for the raise to 6 blinds. We do get a call. Eight, uh, la, 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 la. Ace 8 5 flop. Things are getting real difficult. Let's get some coffee. Laquendon with that top pair will put about a half pot size bet in. Romeo Pro will probably call with the backdoor straight draw with that middle pair. Three on the turn. Would you look at the size of the pot? 27 blinds in the middle. That's Joe Lobo's life. That's double what Ray Lot has. Laquendon will check it on over with that top pair. Try to keep the pot small. As if he didn't blow it up with the six big blind raise on the preflop. Romeo Pro does check back the turn here. Three of diamonds on the river. Romeo Pro might think they're not, or their eights are good. Wow, things are just getting so difficult for the commentator. Ace 10, deep in the tank. We'll check it on over, giving Romeo Pro the chance to bluff, but he has a pair of eights, so we won't find it. Queen 9 suited for Raid a lot under the gun. We'll rip Laquendon with an ace and a queen. We'll call or raise. They go for the call. And they've got a very good spot. Oh, club. Club on the river for Raid a lot. Doopity doo. They get super lucky. 20 blinds for Raid a lot. They're back in the game. We'll see how far they can go with their newfound life. The whole table is like, what the fuck's up with that deal there, Poker Stars? But I'm a big fan of Raid a lot, and it's good to see them pick up some chips. King Jack for Laquentin. Boppity boo. Had so many, they don't mind donating some. No, I'm just kidding. They probably wanted the 20 big blinds. Boopity boo. The King Jack gets through. Queen 9 for Laquendon. We'll raise it on up. 3-3 three, three for Star Winds. Thinking about a call here. They land on the fold. Right a lot will fold the 8 jack. Pwn Diddy folds ace 9. Joe Lobo in the bag with a 6-7 suited will call. Ace jack jack flop goes check bet fold. And we're swiftly moving along. Hmm, ace ace in the big, pwn diddy with an ace do suited will raise it on up. Got a three bet from the big blind and then pwn diddy's gonna be in a weird spot. Hopefully he doesn't click it back in the four bet. Let's just find the fold. Laquendon and pwn diddy have been going back and forth. Same with Romeo Pro, there's just been punches being thrown back and forth. Pwn diddy makes it 18 blinds to go. And again, the question is always, do we jam for value, just get them to pay it off, or do we call and let them bluff? Laquendon says, with our aces, we're just going to jam this time. And Pwn Diddy says, I had a bluff, so he quickly folds. 18 blinds. Slide Laquendon's way. That's a big, big, big pot. Jack-10 suited for Pwn Diddy will raise under the gun. Star wins, defends the big with a queen and an 8. Ace-5-2 flop goes check-check, 5 on the turn. Boppity boo, boppity bee. Queen eight checks. Jack ten can go for another little check. And go for a bet. We can wait to the bluff on the river. Six of spades. Star wins in the tank. We'll check. This is a boring pot. Six blinds in the middle. Nobody's fighting. Pwn Diddy will throw out the river bluff for about half pot. Star wins with queen high. We'll land on the fold. Nice little steal there by Pwn Diddy. A couple of jacks for Pwn Diddy. Queen 8 suited for Romeo Pro. 5-5 five, five for Jolo. Bo, we see a limp. Do we get a call from Jolo? There's the call from Jolo. Bobbity boo. Jack and a jack might bump it on up. What size do we go? 5 blinds? Six blinds it is. Romeo Pro in the tank likes to see a flop. We'll just land on the fold option and same for Joe Lobo. 
Couple of sevens for Joe Lobo will raise it on up. A seven in the big blind for Raid a lot. We'll just quickly fold. What a patient game by Raid a lot. They did jam in the queen nine, got it in bad, but they got lucky there. Other than that, there was a king jack suited jam, and then there was another jam in there as well that got through. Bopity boo. Ace nine for LeQuendon will raise it on up. Joe Lobo in the big with the queen in the four of spades will just fold. Star wins with Jack Jack will raise it on up and get it on through. Just kidding, LeQuendon with a three and a two. I think we're going to the flop. The sticks in the three bet here. Three do suited. It's LeQuendon's hand. Star wins will find the all in. And a quick fold by LeQuendon. Ace, ace for Romeo Pro. Nothing doing for the other players. This will be... Does he limp it on in like he's been doing? No, he goes for the min raise. And takes it down preflop. LeQuendon with an ace and a jack will raise. Pwn Diddy in the big with the king and a queen will defend somehow. 2.5 blinds. I think we're just going to land on the call option. Pwn Diddy can very well 3 bet. They just go for the call. King 6, 3 flop goes check. Big bet. Four blinds into 6.3. Top pair for Pwn Diddy with a good kicker. We can't fold. <clears throat> Five on the turn, doopity doo. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. LeQuendon with that ace of hearts. I wonder if he fires another barrel. King high board should be good. He can get a three to fold. He can get a six possibly to fold. Boopity boo. Not gonna get the king to fold. We see the four of clubs on the river, so the flesh draw misses. Obviously, there's a one liner to a seven or deuce. Pwn Diddy thinking about some sort of little block bet, I think. 3.5 blinds once again. And LeQuendon with the ace high says, Well, I beat some flush draws, so some sort of queen jack. 9, 10 of hearts. Papadi boo. Not going to find the call here today. Only a few combos of uh, bluffs there with the heart draw. So LeQuendon just lands on the fold. Doopity doo. Jack 10 will go for the raise. Ray Lot will rip it the ace in the 10 and get it on through. They're up to 20 blinds. Joe Lobo with an ace and a king will limp it on in under the gun. Romeo Pro with king 5 suited in the big. Would he have called the min raise? Probably. I'm just wondering about the limp. Are we trying to keep the pot smaller? Are we trying to induce a raise? Romeo Pro is the type to bump it on up. A7-5 flop goes check bet call. Four on the turn. No spade for Romeo Pro. No backdoor flush draw for him this time. Three on the river. So one liner to a deuce. Five blinds in the middle. And I don't think Joe Lobo folds. All in? Whoa, I guess we're folding now, maybe? Now we fold the ace king. What a play by Ro What a play by Romeo Pro. All in on the river. Queen Queen. All in versus the Quendens open. Holy shit, what a play by Romeo Pro. Getting the ace king to fold. King queen for raid a lot. Holy shit. Quendon flopping three of a kind, turning a boat. Raid a lot with a straight draw to the 10. He's drawing dead, sees a full pot size. Batten quickly folds, and nicely done. Raid a lot. What a play by Romeo Pro. All in with the pair of fives. Doopity do. Really wanted those five blinds in the middle. Romeo Pro raises the 8 6 suited and takes it down pre flop. See, this is what we came to see. Romeo Pro with the stack. LeQuendon with the stack. This is what we. Oh, yeah. Doopity do. Brendan's in a good spot. LeQuendon with a 9 and a 4 will raise it on up. Star wins with an 8 and an 8 will call. Pwn Diddy in the big line with King 7 offsuit. Can stick in a 3 better fold, I think. Don't think we want to call here. They do land on the fold option. King Jack, five flop goes check, bet, then decisions. You know what the flop goes check, check. I should have just waited to see the action. Thought I was in the zone. I thought I was feeling it. 
no, I was just wrong about what Lequendon's going to do. They're going to wait to the ace on the river, and then we're going to throw in a bluff. Oops. And Star wins. I think we'll let go of the eights. Starwinds is a strong player and should know Lequendon's opening ridiculous amount of hands here. So they're going deep in the tank and I think they're going to... Oh, I was hoping they landed on the call. I was hoping I was wrong, but they did find the fold there. 10-9 suited for Romeo Pro. King-4 suited for Lequendon can 3-bet or fold. I don't think we call. Aces for right a lot. Sees the 3-bet from Lequendon. They'll dunk it all in. Papity boo And Lequendon, are we priced in for a call? It's another 14-15... Maybe even 16 blinds to call. Laquendon says, I'm getting a great price to go bounty hunting, but that's aces. So I'll fold. 5-10 <clears throat> for Ray Raylot will just walk out Romeo Pro. Papity boo. Then they get a queen under jack on the button. They'll raise it on up. 4-8 suited for Romeo Pro in the small blind. 8-4 off for Joe Lobo in the big. Both players fold. Papity boo. Queen 9 for Romeo Pro will fold. No, that's right a lot, sorry. Romeo Pro with the ace and the queen is going to limp it on in. 8 9 comes along. King Queen for Lequendon will stick in the 6 big blind raise. This is what Romeo Pro wanted to see. Now the question is do we go for the re raise or just call? They go for the call. 8 6 3 flop. That's bottom pair for Lequendon with the backdoor flush draw. Not much doing for ace, queen of hearts. We still have the two over cards. Jack on the turn. Romeo Pro needs an ace or a queen. I don't think we're going to bluff here. I think we just check our ace, queen. Do we try to get a pair of threes to fold at some point? Well, the king three is not folding now. Papadi boo, Lequendon makes two pairs on the river. Romeo Pro sitting there with ace high, knows Lequendon's going to be doing this with a whole lot of bullshit. He would have expected a bluff to come in at some point. So on the the check flop, check turn, that uh, screams a little bit of showdown value. Romeo Pro will still find the uh, the call with the ace high. Bopity boo. Lequendon shows him the two pairs and takes a nice pot. Romeo Pro with the jack and a two. We'll see if they're in the pot here. It's suited. They do go for the raise. Doopity doo. Deuces for star wins in the big. King, queen, jack, flop goes check. Romeo Pro might check back the bottom pair here. It's the backdoor flush draw. We could also just bet and get a lot of folds. They go for the check ski. They have only are sweating one out. Deuce of hearts. We get the eight of spades on the turn. Romeo Pro does turn the flush draw. Starwinds won't put a penny in the pot. Ace on the river. Starwinds could bluff here, represent the straight. They are going to find it, aren't they? No, five blinds in the middle will slide Romeo Pro's way. Ace and a king for Joe Lobo. Fourteen and a half blinds. We'll see what they do this time. They just rip it all in and get it on through. Doopity doo 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 doo. Pwn Diddy with an ace and a six. Bopity boo. Bopity bee. Bopity bee 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 boo. A Quentin with a jack and a nine. We'll raise it on up. Pwn Diddy in the small blind. We could go for a three bet. We could call. Three bet doesn't feel right. Pwn Diddy lands on the call option. Queen seven five flop goes check. Do we bet here with the jack high? We do with the backdoor straight draw, and we'll get ace high to fold. Nicely done by Lequendon. 2-6 suited. Lequendon's right back in there. Ace-3 suited for Pwn Diddy. We're going to see a few spades fold. Poppity boo, so it's not likely there'll be fireworks. Pwn Diddy will go for the 3-bet, and I think he buys the pop pre. Lequendon does have 140 big blinds. They could always find a wide call, but it's not going to happen. King-3 suited for Pwn Diddy. King 10 for Romeo Pro in the small blind. Hmm, thinking things through. I'm thinking call. Romeo Pro says, yeah, let's go for the call option. Joe Lobo with a 9-5 suited in the big blind. Deep in the tank here. 
Can you imagine a jam? I wonder if it works. You know what? Joe Lobo is thinking, do I call or fold? They're not thinking about a jam. <laughs> Queen 8 2 flop goes check, check, four spades on the turn. That's a flush draw for Pwn Diddy. Boppity boo. Can you imagine if he jammed the 9 5 there? Yeah, he's not even thinking that. Anyways, Romeo Pro bets two blinds into six. Pwn Diddy with that flush draw will stick in the raise here to seven blinds. This might work. Doopity doo, it does. Romeo Pro finds the fold with the best of it with King 10. Ace and a queen for star wins. We'll raise it on up. Lequendon in the big with an ace and a three. We'll find the caller three bet. Call seems reasonable. King 8-8 eight, eight flop goes check. Do we check ace queen here? Not the best flop. Hard to get called by worse. Check on the turn. Doopity doo. We aren't trapping the pot just quite yet. Looking for a king? Nope, a king wouldn't do it, would it? A king would do it. A king, a jack. What about an ace? An ace also works. You know what? Star wins will just bet on the turn and take the pot down. Poppity boo. King 10 suited for right a lot. We'll raise it on up. Joe Lobo with an ace and a four. The same suit. The short stack. We'll have to let it go. Doopity doo. Lequinden with a queen and a five of the same suit. We'll call from the small. Jack, jack, six flop goes check. Do we bet with our uh, backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw? Riddalot says, yeah, we can put up a very small bet, 1.5 blinds. But Quentin, with not much doing here, queen five of diamonds, no diamond on the flop, no backdoor straight draw, but Quentin says, check raise. And Riddalot will fold the best of it with king high. Beautiful play by Quentin. Just reading Riddalot's soul. 10-6 for Quentin. we'll raise it on up. He's four for Pwn Diddy. Nine seven seven flop goes check, bet, fold, and we're moving along. King and a nine for Romeo Pro. A couple of ducks for Joe Lobo will likely hit the muck. Um, Ace three for Raid Allotted. The big will also hit the muck. Bopity boo. King and a jack for Star Winds. We'll raise it on up. Romeo Pro with the 8 6 suited in the big blind will call Jack 6 3 flop. One club for both players, one pair for both players. Star wins sitting in a much more comfy spot in position with the top as the pairs with the second best kicker. Romeo Pro with that middle pair and a weak kicker. Sees the ace of hearts on the turn. Does this slow Star wins down? I don't think so. I think he can go for another small bet here. He says no, let's just go to the river for free. Five of hearts. Didn't want to face a check raise on the river. He can call. He's got a bluff catcher on the river. Romeo Pro with a pair of sixes will look to show them down. And Star wins again. We could put out a very small bet here. 5.5 blinds is half pot. Make it look like a bluff. Make it look like Miss Diamonds. Nice fold by Romeo Pro. 2-3 suited for Lequendon. We'll raise under the gun. Into Joe Lobo's big blind with the King 7 suited. We got a couple of ducks for Romeo Pro in the small. Pwn Diddy with an ace and a 4 from the cutoff. We'll call as well. Deuces complete from the small. Joe Lobo getting a great price. Flops top pair. Hopefully they hold on up here. King 10, 5 flop. Not much doing for Lequendon. Backdoor straight draw. Pwn Diddy with a backdoor straight draw. Backdoor flush draw. Romeo Pro with the three of a kind draw. Pwn Diddy bets two blinds. Hopefully that's going in Joe Lobo's stack. Rip it all in, dude. Did we just call? I've got no idea what to do with the King 7. Joe Lobo, teach me a thing or two, but don't fold. Of all the options, don't fold. Don't fold. Don't fold. There's a call. Ace on the turn. Are you serious, poker stars? No. Ace four makes top pair. 13 blinds are likely to slide Pwn Diddy's way. Joe Lobo down to eight blinds. That's such a shame. All in from Pwn Diddy. We might even call with the King Seven. Oh, I hate this. Joe Lobo finds the fold. Good shit. Oh, but then is he all in with the Ace three suited? Seven blinds? 
sees a raise from Pwn Diddy with the queen and a 10. He could just fold the ace 3. Nice fold by Joe Lobo. Ace 9 for Lequendon will call the big blind. Jack 10 6 flop goes check bet. And weird spot for Lequendon with a 3 in a row, playing about 60 blinds deep. Or 60 blinds effective. King on the turn goes check. Do we bet now? No, we're just going to the river for free. Pwn Diddy with the straight draw and the pair of tens. Lequendon will show down the ace high. Boppity bop. The question is, would a six call us on the river here? Hmm. Depends on what size we go. Pwn Diddy says, we'll try a half bot size bet and the ace high will fold. 5 4 for Romeo Pro, thinking about some sort of action. Goes for the open. Ace deuce for Joe Lobo can rip it all in here. They're in the tank. Boppity boo. They know they, they, don't, blah, 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 blah. they know they don't have any fold equity, so they just fold themselves. Boppity boo. King and a six for Lequendon. We'll open it on up. Stars wins with an ace and a jack. We can three bet, we can call. Try to keep the pot small. All in. And a quick fold by Lequendon. King nine for Romeo Pro. We'll open it on up. Lequendon with ace seven suited. Rate a lot with ace three suited. Star wins with five six suited will fold. Rate a lot will let this go now that Lequendon put in the three bet. And king nine will also hit the muck. Ace and a jack for star wins. Pwn Diddy with an ace and a king. We'll see a raise. A three bet and a fold I think. It's not too exciting. We are playing what six handed. Ace jack becomes a lot stronger. Boppity boo. A7 for Raid a lot. Hopefully lets this one go. Surely knows these two are going to be fighting back and forth quite wide. We'll see what Starwinds does with the ace and the jack. Don't jam. They do just land on the fold. Nicely done by Starwinds. You know, Pwn Diddy's been getting after it with the three bets preflop. Wouldn't have been surprised to see a call there by Starwinds, but they say no. We don't want to blow the. P we don't want to play a bloated pot out of position with a marginal holding. Doopity do. Queen ten for Pwn Diddy under the gun. We'll raise it on up. Joe Low bow down to five blinds with the queen three suited. We'll let it go, of course. Jack ten for Starwinds in the big. They find the call. Jack eight two flop. Good news for Starwinds. Pwn Diddy has a straight draw to the 9. Over card with the queen. Doopity doo. We'll bet about 2 blinds into 5.7. Star wins with top pair. Ain't folding, let me tell you that. That was an easy call. 8 on the turn. Turn goes check. I think Pwn Diddy might slow down. There's still some flush draws they're ahead of that they can get some value from as well. 2 different flush draws. There's different straight draws, 10-9 they're ahead of, 10-7, boppity boo, 4 clubs on the river, top pair for star wins, we'll bet 2.5 blinds, and Pwn Diddy quickly folds. Doopity doo, do 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 6-5 for Joe Lobo, folded 2, we'll just fold as well. Don't know why I thought he was going to do something with it, Lequendon with a sick, uh, king and a 3, sorry. It's getting difficult to speak words again. Ace 4 for Joe Lobo will rip it all into the big blind of Raid a lot with the ace and the jack. We see Starwinds folding a 4. That's bad news for Joe Lobo. So they're going to need some straight help, some spades. The hearts won't do. One of the two remaining 4s. Ah, a couple of hearts, not enough spades. Boppity boo. The 4 on the turn. Bink. Bink. Raid a lot says, what the hell was that, Poker Stars? You know, Joe Lopo's played a nice patient game. They get it in there with the ace four with about four blinds. They get lucky, but you know what? It's fun to see them pick up some chips. There's this very cool dynamic going on right now. Starwinds will be playing a few hands with the 44 big blind stack. Pwn Diddy with a little bit more of a stack in position. Plays call with the ace jack. I thought we were going to see another three bet. I thought Pwn Diddy was just going to put the pressure on Starwinds as we have two short stacks. But Pwn Diddy says we can keep the pot small. 10 7 3 flop goes check. Pwn Diddy might just check as well. That they do. 6 on the turn. 
Leash track is good here enough to check. We could bet to protect. We'll see what Pwn Diddy thinks. Star wins as well, thinking their king high could be good. They don't need the bluff. They're still ahead of some queen drag and whatnot. Deuce of clubs on the river. What a boring pot. Star wins with the king high. Pwn Diddy with the ace high goes check, check. And Pwn Diddy will take down the six blinds. Now I need suited for Pwn Diddy. Queen, king, queen for right a lot. Let's see them dunk it in. I don't know if they have fold equity. We see Pwn Diddy has about 40% here. The $2,500 bounty. It's a little enticing for 10 blinds. We'll see what Pwn Diddy thinks. Dippity doo. Does sevens jam in Raid a lot shoes? I don't think so. So maybe Pwn Diddy just folds. No, they land on the call and they flop a pair of eights, but a king on the turn and a seven on the river. Bapedi boo. Raid a lot gets the double up. 26 blinds for Raid a lot. Joe Lobo with a couple of threes. Romeo Pro with a king and a ten will raise. And probably take it down pre. No, he goes for the limp. The question is, does Joe Lobo jam? I don't think so. Not going to get this through. 3-3, three, three, we can wait for a better spot. Nicely done, Joe Lobo. 5-9 will come along. King-5 checks it back. East 9 2 flop. Flop goes check, check. Hmm. Ace high board, Romeo Pro can bet, or just check. Excuse me, check. Yeah. Obviously. He's got a couple options. He can better check. Oh, that was a brilliant comment. Alright, we'll try to clean up the commentary here. A pair of nines for LeQuendon will lead out for a little bit less than half pot. King high could be good here. Romeo Pro might find the call. They say no, Brendan. It's just not going to be good here. Let's just fold. Bobbity boo. Eight and an eight for rate a lot. We'll go for the open. Man, I could use some pizza right now. Hmm. Three four for Lequendon. We'll go for the open. A six for rate a lot. We'll just fold the big blind. Bobbity bob. I suppose as long as Joe Lobo is still hanging out with the eight blinds, everybody's gonna have to tighten on up. Seven for seven for Star Winds. We'll see if he comes along. He does. Queen nine suited for rate a lot in the small blind. Just folds. Jack nine seven flop. King high for Lequendon. Does not connect to the board at all, but we'll still go for a small bet ski here. Star wins ain't folding that bottom set. Might even go for a raise. <clears throat> what a horrific card for your set. Ten of spades. Lequendon actually picks up some equity, looking for a queen or to buy the pot. Six blinds into nine. It's not going to work out on the turn, but we'll see what the river brings us. A two of spades. Lequendon blocks king-queen. Might prefer to have a queen to be bluffing with rather than the king. But we'll see if they still pull the trigger here, represent the straight. They do bet 13.5 blinds. Doesn't this just look like value? It doesn't necessarily look like the eight. But star wins will fold the set because he didn't... Oh, I, I, I like, what about a jam? Does he call with... Uh, there's a one-liner to an eight. Lequendon's opening three-five suited. He could have any two cards, pretty much. Starwinds folds the set. Boppity bop. What a beautiful play by Lequendon. <clears throat> king queen for Pwn Diddy. Right a lot with a king and a queen will jam it all in and get it on through. Boppity boo. Ooh, a couple of kings. Oh, a couple of nines for Joe Lobo. No. Everybody say goodbye. Joe Lobo rips it all in. Raid a lot with 80%. Nine on the turn. Nope, nine on the rip. Nope, nope. Joe Lobo's gone. Goodbye, Joe Lobo. Hmm. Very, very unfortunate. It was fun to watch Joe Lobo. I like saying their name a lot, too. They're Gonzo Alonzo. 4-4 four, four for Raid a lot. Flops is set. Lequendon with so many chips. 140 blinds. Bopity Boo is going to call with the 8 9 on the A6 4 flop with the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. 5 on the turn. Lequendon might represent the 8 7 straight. Sees about a half pot size bet a little bit more on the turn here. And he goes for the min raise, representing the straight. Does another set get folded? I don't think so in this situation. 
Raid a lot just quickly jams it all in. Dappity 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 do. But Quentin will have to fold. So 50 blinds for Raid a lot, who's uh, done a great job of hanging out patiently. They're in second place position. They came in, I believe, the shortest stack. Waltonlow suffered a big cooler. Pipgar in the same boat. Sloan, I think, lost a flip. Joe Lobo gets set up with a 9-9 versus King King. Oh, and look at this. Queens versus Ace King suited. Gonna see a 3 bet from Star Winds and a big flip for their life. 23k bounty on the line? I didn't even realize that this whole time. Somebody wake me up next time at the beginning of the show. $23,000 on the line. Ace or King or Club. Club on the river, that will do. Laquendon not running the best, playing a great game. Still have 85 blinds in first place. Really wanted to get that $20,000 bounty, but not going to happen here today. Not yet, anyways. Ace and a jack for Pwn Diddy. Bapadi bap will raise. They might take this one down pre flop. Sterwins has a newfound stack. Queen 2 just doesn't seem like a play. King King for Pwn Diddy in the big blind. Bapadi bapadi boo. Quentin with an ace and a two. Jack seven suited for star wins in the small blind will just quickly fold. King King will put in a three bet and Quentin could four bet all in as a bluff, but I don't think it's coming in. There's the three bet. Quentin quickly folds. Nine eight for Quentin. Six six for Pwn Diddy. We'll see them call from the small. Doopity doo do 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 Jack seven for Radalog lot quickly folds. Ten three three flop goes check. Quentin with the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw puts in a two big blind bet. And Pwn Diddy thinking about a call. They do find it. Ace of diamonds on the turn. So Quentin with the higher flush draw. No straight draw, but the ace is a good card to bet. Pwn Diddy knows that, so he might find another call here with the six of diamonds in his hand. Five blinds in a 9.6. This looks like a value bet for half pot. Nice call by Pwn Diddy. He makes the boat on the river. Goes check, check, and Pwn Diddy says, Damn it, why didn't you bluff the river? Would have been calling you there. Hmm. Jack, Jack versus Queen, Queen. Looks like Romeo Pro will get a nice double here. Providing there's no jacks coming. Three bet to eight blinds. Aquendon will four bet. Does he just go all in? He does just go all in. No jack yet. Bopity boo, no chop outs. Just a full double for Romeo Pro. They're in first place. So LeQuentin running like absolute shit. Playing a great game of cards. That's a damn shame for LeQuentin. Lost a flip for a 23k bounty. Jacks versus Queens. Just a big cooler for a 14k bounty. Bopity boo, LeQuentin's down to 40 blinds in last place now. Whoa, that's so unfortunate. Don't you just hate that? At least when it happens to you. You're in first place. You're just running over the table, cleaning up shop. And then you just can't get the bounties. And then you just your your stack kind of dwindles with five players remaining. Oh, that's such a shame for Lequendon. Man, my heart hurts for him. Pwn Diddy with an ace and a nine. Sorry, we're going to have to have a moment of silence for Laquendon. They're still in the game with tw uh, 40 blinds, sorry, but, uh, you know, he could have had so much more. Hmm. 5-3-3 three, three flop goes check, check, jack on the turn. Goes check, check, king on the river. Ace high versus queen high. We might both show down our hands. That we do. King jack for star wins. We'll go for the open, boppity boo. Romeo Pro with a jack and a three in the big with a big stack. We'll call ace eight four flop. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw for star wins. Romeo Pro with a backdoor wheel draw. Not much doing here with the jack three of spades. We'll just land on the fold facing the small bet. Jack ten suited, Romeo Pro will do some sort of something here from the small blind. The Quentin in the big with a queen and a four, not getting a walk. He's a three big blind bet. We'll quickly fold. Ace and a king for Pwn Diddy. A couple of fours for Laquendon. We'll see a raise. Do we call the fours or do we just let them go? 
If Romeo Pro comes along, juicing the pot will certainly call. Romeo Pro folds 10-7. Fours do call. Jack-7-6 flop goes check. Do we bet Ace-King with the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw? Pwn Diddy says for half pot. Gonna put a lot of pressure on the fours and they'll quickly hit the muck. Raid a lot with a 5-3 suited. We'll let it go under the gun. Laquendon with an ace and a jack will raise. Pwn Diddy with a 10 and a 7 in the big blind will call. 8-7-4 flop goes check. What do we do with ace jack? Do we check with the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw? We do. Pick up a flush draw. Pwn Diddy with the 7s is still best. Ace jack or club. Boppity bop. 1.7 big blind bet will get called. LaQuentin might have to fire another barrel on the river. Six of hearts. So a one liner to a five. Nine ten makes a straight. LaQuentin sitting here with the ace jack. River goes check check. About nine blind slide pwn Diddy's way. Again things just not working out for LaQuentin right now. Doobity doo do 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 do. Ace and a four for start wins. We'll raise it on up. King six offsuit for raid a lot. We'll just fold. They're playing a nice patient game. Again, they find themselves where now? Oh, they're in fourth place. I thought they were in second. <laughs> Romeo Pro in first. Star wins pretty well tied with Pwn Diddy. Raid a lot. Not too far behind with their 46 blinds. And again, Lequendon still in the game. Might be able to get ace high to fold at some point here. Four, three, two flop goes. Check, bet, call. Two on the turn. Quentin might need to buy the pot with a big bet on the turn here. Or to smack a heart on the river. There's the six big blind bet. Romeo Pro says I could still be good here. The ace of clubs is probably a bad card to be holding. So Romeo Pro will just find the fold. Do -do 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 -do. So 34 blinds for LaQuendon. Nice to see them get a pot there. Pwn Diddy with a six and a five of the same suit from the cutoff. We'll raise it on up. Queen 8 for LaQuendon in the big blind. We'll just fold preflop. Boppity bop. 7 6 suited for Pwn Diddy. We'll raise. LaQuendon with a 6 and a 5 of the same suit in the small blind. We'll just fold. Boppity 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 boo. Not much doing here. Queen 2 versus Ace 4 in the small blind. Limp pot. Pwn Diddy thinking about a raise. They'll land on the check option. 877 seven, flop goes. Huh. Check. Check. Eight of hearts on the turn. Pwn Diddy picks up a flush draw. Star wins still with the best of it with the two pairs and the ace kicker will bet a big blind. Boppity 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 boo. Queen high could be good here. And then we got the heart outs. King on the river. So Pwn Diddy plays the board. But so does so many other holdings. Star wins will check. I'd like to see a bluff here from Pwn Diddy. Not going to come on in. They're just going to play the board and Star wins will take it with the ace high. So 60 blinds apiece for Star wins and Pwn Diddy. Rate a lot again with 45, a 6, and a 9 in the big blind. Won't face the raise from the 16, or the, what was it? Some sort of suited something for Star wins. Pwn Diddy will raise 5.4 blinds with the king and the 9 and take it down pre. Boppity boo, boppity bee. 3 and a 2 for star wins. We'll just fold. Walk for Romeo. Boppity boo. Ace and a queen for right a lot. We'll raise it on up. Queen 10 for Romeo in the small blind. Could come along. I don't know if we just fold here. 3 bet doesn't seem like it's coming in. Romeo Pro says we just fold here. Nice timing. King 10 for Pwn Diddy. We'll raise it on up. Star wins in the big blind with a 10 and an 8. We're not suited, but we got some playability here. 60 blinds deep. Let's go to the flop. A7-2 goes check. Hmm. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. I think we check. King high. Pwn Diddy says we put in a very small bet. And we'll take the pot down. King and a queen for Ray Lot. Sixes for Laquendon. Ace Jack for Star Winds. We'll see some action here. A raise, a call. Star Winds can three better call. I think a call is more likely. 
we are playing five handed so a three bet does come on in 7.5 blinds interesting sizing it's not super large out of position looks like it's a value hand if we're being honest king queen for rate a lot can fold we can go for the small four bet they land on the call option of all of what the, they could do. I did not expect to see that. Sixes hit the muck. Jack, five, four, flop. Two diamonds for rate a lot. Top pair, top kicker for star wins. Boppity, 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 boo. Star wins, bet 7.5 blinds, and rate a lot quickly folds. Hmm, Jack and a Jack for Pwn Diddy. 10 5 suited for Romeo Pro says this is good enough for an open. Pwn Diddy will throw in the three bet. Right a lot will fold to queen 10 and 10 5 will hit the muck as well. Nine blinds to go. Seven to call. Boppity 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 boo. Romeo Pro folds. Nine seven suited for Pwn Diddy. We see a couple tens for right a lot. They might just play call facing the open. Ace Jack for Romeo Pro in the big blind. Do we three better call? Playing 60 blinds deep with Pwn Diddy. So Romeo Pro says we just call King Queen 5 flop. Interesting board. King high board for Pwn Diddy to stab on. Backdoor hearts. Seems likely. Rate a lot with those tens. Wants to see a free card. Ace of diamonds. It's a top pair for Romeo Pro. Now in first place, Pwn Diddy is drawing dead. They could always buy the pot. It's just very unlikely as Romeo Pro puts a bet on the turn here. Right a lot with the little straight draw will fold. Do 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 six five for right a lot. We'll raise and take it down pretty boppity b. King two suited for pwn diddy just folds under the gun. Romeo pro with a queen and the jack will limp it on in. Star wins with a four and a three, and the big blind will check it back. <laughs> Excuse me. Seven five three flop goes check. Do we check the queen jack? We don't have a uh, club in our hand. We don't have a diamond in our hand. Does that mean bet? Romeo says two blinds to go. Star wins with that bottom pair in the straight draw to the six. We'll call. Make two pairs on the turn. Boppity boppity boo. Star wins leads out with those two pairs. Romeo has an easy fold here. Queen jack no club. Thinking about a raise though. Lands on the fold. Whenever somebody tanks, it's always thinking about a raise. Romeo Pro is probably just thinking about a collar fold, if we're being honest. Anyways, what does it matter? Romeo Pro folds. We move along. Queen 5 versus 8 5. Limp pot. Boppity 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 bop. 65 blinds deep. 6 3 2 flop. Both players with a straight draw. 2 the 4. Both players with backdoor heart draws as well. Pwn Diddy with the 8 high might do a little bit of betting in position. They go for a half pot size bet. Star wins not going nowhere. Do we raise? No, we're just going to call 5 on the, or sorry, that's a 4. 4 on the turn. Pwn Diddy with a straight draw to the 7. Other than that, we're chopping the pot. Boppity 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 bop. Full pot size bet by Pwn Diddy. Star wins, thinking about a raise here. This is rather uh, interesting. They do just land on the call. 5-7 is the nuts. Mather player with it. Don't you think we see all the chips go in the middle? 16 blinds? We're playing so deep, maybe we don't. We see a full pot size bet by Pwn DD and a quick call. So Star wins says, no, we're not going to play for stacks there. We don't have the nuts, we just got uh, a bluff catcher essentially. Pwn Diddy saying they've got the straight as well. Because like a set, say, isn't going to call your jam on the river, I don't think. At least that's the, what Star, War Star Winds is suggest suggesting with their action. That's a difficult sentence. Jack, 8, 7, flop goes check, check, queen on the turn, 9 high for Ray Lot will stab and take the pot. Oh, just kidding. I didn't even see uh, Pwn Diddy at a pair of 7s. River goes check, check, and the pot will actually slide Pwn Diddy's way. 
So I was just wrong. I need some water. I need a break or something. Queen 10 for Pwn Diddy. They'll raise it on up. Romeo Pro with a 6 and a 5. We'll call the big blind. Ace 4, 2 flop goes check. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Pwn Diddy likes a little bet. Romeo Pro with the straight draw to the 3. I want to see a raise from him. Does come on in 5 blinds to go, and then Pwn Diddy got themselves in the pickle here. They got the best hand with the Queen 10, but it's almost impossible that I. Oh, just kidding. Pwn Diddy says, yeah, right. Yeah, right, Romeo Pro. You got six high, I bet. Finds the call. Ace of spades on the turn. That's a flush draw for Pwn Diddy, and the queen high still best. 15 blinds in the middle. Just sweating a six, a five, or a three. Pwn Diddy bet super small, and the bet gets through. <laughs> blinds go up. <laughs> Couple of tens for Romeo. E7 for Raid a lot. Pwn Diddy with an eight and a jack. Pwn Diddy raises, right a lot quickly folds. Romeo can call, can 3-bet. He got options. <laughs> we can't fold. Romeo Pro sticks in the 9, big blind raise, and the bet gets through. Pwn Diddy with a couple of 9s. We'll raise it on up. 4-3 in the big blind, we'll just fold. Bopity bopity boo. Do, 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 do. A bunch of nothing. Star wins with 10-3 suited. We'll see if they play from the small blind. They do limp it in. Pwn Diddy with a king-7 offsuit. Might raise it up. They just land on the check option. Man, I've got no idea what Pwn Diddy's doing ever. Except <laughs> with the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw, we're going to go for a small bet. Other than that, Pwn Diddy, I'm just guessing. Pair of tens for star wins, goes for a small bet on the flop. Pwn Diddy calls with the king high. Queen on the turn. Boppity 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 boo. So straight draws miss. There's now a flush draw to the diamonds. We'll see if Pwn Diddy protects their hand or just goes to the river with all that knowledge in their mind. They say let's just go to the river. Queen of spades. Boppity 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 boo. Star wins bets 2.5 blinds. Again, limp pot, small bet on the flop. Wouldn't be surprised to see a call, but Pwn Diddy says no, we're not going to waste the chips here. Dippity doo. 6-6 six, six for Romeo. Ace-Queen for Pwn Diddy. We'll see a raise. Potentially a 3-bet. 5-handed Ace-Queen is uber strong. Pwn Diddy finds the call. Okay. 10-2 completes the big blind. Ace-Jack-3 flop goes check-check. What do we do with our 6s? We can just check and see a free card that we do seven of diamonds pwn diddy with that top pair second best kicker we'll put out a big bet right a lot will fold the 10 high and romeo pro right behind him ace 10 for star wins boppity boppity boo you know what i really miss when lequendon had that big ass stack they played just about every holding pwn diddy with a big stack is super reasonable like we saw a bunch of 5-3 suited from Lequendon. That shit was so cool. King, queen, nine, flop goes check, bet, fold, and we're moving along. 4-2 for Romeo Pro just doesn't belong in there. King Jack for Pwn Diddy will raise it on up. Lequendon in the big with a suited nine will call. King, queen, six, flop goes check, bet, fold. Doopity doo do 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 do. A Quentin with a king and a queen in the small blind. Romeo Pro with a queen and a seven. We'll see if they open. No, they pass on the spot. A Quentin might dunk it in here. They go for the call instead. Jack five suited for star wins in the big blind. Boppity boo, boppity bee. We'll just play check. King, seven, three, flop. Top pair for the Quentin. We'll go for a bet. Star wins with jack shit. We'll fold. That wasn't too exciting. Couple of sevens for Lequendon. 18 big blinds, boppity boo. Star wins with a suited king. We'll fold the small blind, pwn Diddy in the big with a queen four off. We'll play call. 966 six flop goes check. Do we bet our sevens here? Why not, eh? Five blinds in the middle, Lequendon bets 1.28. And pwn Diddy with the queen high will let it go. 
Ace and an 8 for Laquendon. We'll see if they go for another open here. They do find it. Star wins with a couple of 4s. Pwn Diddy folding 1 in the small blind. Great a lot in the big with a bullshit hand. 8-3 offsuit. We do see the 4s call and flop a straight draw to the 5. A couple of over cards for Laquendon. And the backdoor straight draws. Boppity boo. Flop goes check. Check. Queen on the turn. Don't think Laquendon puts in a little bet here. But they might fire. Now the ace high just has some showdown value. Laquendon checks it on over. Star wins with those fours. With the same kind of deal. Some showdown value. No need to bluff. They'll just check and look to scoop the pot. And they do. Boppity boo. Jack 9 for star wins. Pwn Diddy with ace 4 suited. We could see a raise and a 3 bet. A raise and a call. Could see some fireworks here. We get the raise and the call. Romeo Pro in the big with 7 5 suited will also come along to the ace king 9 flop. Bottom pair for star wins will likely check. It is an ace high board. Backdoor straight draw. They go for a bet ski here. Pwn Diddy with top pair will call. Romeo Pro with the backdoor straight flush draw will likely just fold on the flop here. Poppity boo. Jack of spades on the turn. That's two pair for star wins. Queen 10 makes a straight. Poppity boo. Pwn Diddy with the spade draw. Looking for an ace of four or a spade. Poppity boo. Poppity boo. Ooh, a king on the river. That will do. Two pairs counterfeit. Aces and kings with a four kicker. Pwn Diddy will take the pot. I guess he played with a... Not the four kicker, my bad. What an idiot. King Jack suited for Laquendon in the big blind. Might just get a walk here. 10-4 off for Romeo. We could always put some pressure on Laquendon. Romeo starts things off with a limp. Laquendon might raise here. 2.74 blinds. Boppity boo. And Romeo will go for the three bet. Whoa. 5.5 5 blinds to go. Laquendon might jam it in here, might call. They go for the call option. Queen 7 2 flop. 11 blinds in the middle. 14 behind. 2.5 is the bet by Romeo. Boppity boo. Nice little play there. Laquendon folds the king jack on the flop. Do ba do 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 do. King and an 8 for Laquendon. We might dunk this in. We could go for a limp. Laquendon likes the limp option. Boppity boo, ba 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 boo. Jack 6 for star wins. We'll go for the raise, and Laquendon has to lay down the king high. King Queen suited for right a lot. We'll go for the open star wins with a couple of aces. We'll go for the 3 bet. What size do we go? Right a lot opening off of 20 blinds. The raise is to 6 bigs. Right a lot getting a fair price with a strong holding. Not a big fan of this action. We'll see if he just rips it in or plays call. Lands on the call option. King 7 5 flop. Bad news for Raid a lot. You need a king, a queen, or some runner runner diamonds. Boppity boppity boo. Small bet by Starwinds. We'll see another call here. King on the turn. That will do. Right a lot. Looking to scoop a big pot now. Just sweating a couple of aces. Another three big blind bet by Starwinds. I think Raid a lot just lands on the call option. No need to jam. We'll wait to the river. Four of hearts. Starwinds will stick it all in. And Raid a lot will snap cog and see the great news. Do 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 do. Ace and a nine for Laquendon. Ace and an 8 for star wins. We'll see the jam. Do we call or just fold here? Star wins in the tank. Thinking this one through. We'll land on the call option. King 9 for right a lot. We'll fold. 7-7-4 seven, seven, flop. Ace 9 is holding up for the time being. But Quentin will stick in their last 4 blinds. And star wins will call. Look for a chop out. There it is. Poppity boo. Couple of sixes for Raid a lot. Three and a queen for Romeo in the big. We're suited and booted. We're going to the flop in some manner. Limp. 
raise. There it is, four blinds. Now does Raidalock just jam the sixes? No, they play call ace nine six or that's not a six, it's a two. Ace nine two flop. What the hell's wrong with me? Raidalock checks it on over with those sixes. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw for Romeo, bets another four blinds about half pot. A little bit less. Very dry board, right a lot. We'll just land on the fold option. Nice play again by Romeo. A7 for Pwn Diddy. Boppity bop. It's suited with the big stack. We'll raise it on up into Quendon's big with an 8 and a 6 of the same suit. They'll play call. Flop a straight draw to the 7. Pwn Diddy with the ace high. Backdoor straight draw. Backdoor flush draw. Bets a blind. Quendon can come along here. He goes for the trek raise actually. And Pwn Diddy is in a weird spot. Getting a fair price, they call, and they're open-ended. Lequendon with the best of it with a pair of sixes. Boppity boo, Pwn Diddy needs a three and eight at seven, or the seven doesn't work, sorry. But an ace would work. 2.5 blinds is the bet on the turn, boppity boo. King of diamonds on the river. About five and a half blinds behind, 17 in the pot. Boppity bop. Quendon checks it on over. Does Pwn Diddy bluff here? Or do we just show it down? What a weird hand. Pwn Diddy will check. And Quendon will take a nice pot. Jack 4 suited for Pwn Diddy. They're a little ticked off. They'll raise under the gun. They'll get right back in there. Jack 8 for star wins in the big blind is not suited. Boppity 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 boo. We'll still come along to the Jack 10 6 flop. That's top pair for both players. That was the obvious comment. Boppity boo. <coughs> Excuse me. Flop goes check check. Star wins bets, four blinds, boppity boo. Pwn Diddy with that top pair, slow plate on the flop, will call, ace on the river. Does this go check check? 13 blinds in the middle, slide star wins way. They could go for a little block bet, instead they do just land on the track option. Boppity 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 boo. Ace and a five for Romeo. We'll limp it on in. Laquendon with a seven and a six of the same suit will come along. Star wins folds the queen and the four in the small blind. King three checks back. Sees a king, king, jack flop. That's three of a kind for Pwn Diddy, Romeo. Backdoor straight draws will bet a blind. Pwn Diddy going nowhere, of course. Hopefully they don't raise. Let Romeo bluff, bluff it off here. Although, to be fair on the flop, it's a little bit of a value protection bet. Looking just to clean up some equity here. Six on the turn, and we see an over bet by Romeo. 9.5 blinds into six. Again, Pwn Diddy's going nowhere. Five of hearts on the river. Romeo blocks the flush. Pwn Diddy blocks the flush. Romeo blocks a little bit of a boat with the five on the river. And they'll jam it all in. And Pwn Diddy's deep in the tank. I don't know what to do here. Good luck. Finds the call in the end. Romeo's Gonzo Alonzo. 100 blinds go Pwn Diddy's way. That's a huge ass pot. What a play by Romeo though. Blasted it off in the end. Put a lot of pressure on the other players though. It was fun to see. Didn't quite work out for him here today. Jack 9 suited for Star Winds. We'll open it on up from the button and face a 3 bet by Pwn Diddy with the ace and the 8. Boppity 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 boo. Star wins deep in the tank. Let's go to the flop dealer. No, the three bet's a little bit too big for them to call. They are in second place, so they do want to preserve some chips here. 37 blinds. Right a lot with 30. Lequendon with 16. Pwn Diddy the big stack with 90. Only about 90 left to collect. Boppity 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 boo. King 7 suited will raise and take it down free. Like went in with a queen and a nine in the small blind. We'll limp it on in. Star wins with a nine and a deuce. 
We're suited and booted. Check it on back. King 7 5 flop goes. Check. Do we bet the 9 high? Back to a straight draw. Boppity 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 boppity. Check. 7 on the turn. Queen high is still best. Boppity boo. Mm -hmm. What a boring hand. Queen on the river. Look, Wendon will check it over once again. And I like this. Try to let Starwind's bluff. And they do have 9 high. It's a limp pot. They could have just about anything here. They will bet 1 blind. Look, Wendon will find the call in the end here. Do they even raise? Spades completed. I don't think we raise. But look, Wendon says, yeah, let's raise 2.5 blinds. Try to get an ace to call us or a 5. Starwind's with the 9 high. We'll let it go. Do 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 do. Eight and a ten for star wins. In the small blind, we'll limp it on in. Pwn Diddy with a nace in the big. We'll check it on back. Queen ten three flop. Middle pair for star wins. Ace high for Pwn Diddy with the backdoor straight draws. Do 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 do. Star wins has the pair. Oh, two pairs now. Had the backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Two pairs just fine as well. That will lock up the board for star wins. They'll bet a big blind and take the pot down. A couple of queens for Raid a lot in the big blind. We'll see if Pwn Diddy looks to put some pressure on him. Jack 5 offsuit. We'll raise 3.5 blinds. Hopefully Raid a lot just lands on the call. They land on the all in. <laughs> that will take the pot. Queen Jack for star wins. Boppity boppity boo. We'll raise it on up. Queen and a 5 for Pwn Diddy of the same suit. Do we raise and fold? They land on the call option. Okay, queen, or that's not a queen, that's an ace, a 10, and a 6 on the flop. Straight draw and flesh draw for star wins. We'll start things off with a check. Pwn Diddy with the back door straight draw. We'll check it on back. Four diamonds on the turn. Star wins makes, what, the third nuts? Boppity 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 boo. Pwn Diddy with absolute jack shit. We'll see if they put in a bluff here. They do 4.2 blinds. Star winds can't fold on the turn. Doopity do. Four on the river. Pairs the board. You don't expect the two pairs to be betting on the turn necessarily. Question is what size would an ace hot or the king of diamonds go? Queen of diamonds. So I guess it was the third nuts for star wins. Is that what I said? Who knows? Ace and a jack for pwn diddy. That would raise it on up. Star wins with an eight and a ten in the big blind. Boppity boppity boo will call. Ace nine six flop goes check bet. Call. Straight draw to the seven for star wins. It is an ace high board and we are in chip preservation mode. I suppose we can fold, but three outs. Three clean outs to the frickin' nuts. Boppity boo. Seven on the turn. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Ace on the river. This is bad news for Pwn Diddy. Making three of a kind. They obviously lose this, the straights. Couple of boats out there as well. Five big blind bet by Star Winds. I don't know if Pwn Diddy raises. Might just call. He could stick in a raise, certainly so. 10 seconds to think about it. There it is, 13.5 blinds. Star wins licking their lips. They don't have the nuts no more. The board did pair, but they're quite ecstatic to see a raise, I think. Do they jam or just call? They land on the call option. No need to jam when there's boats out there. Boppity boo, Star wins is tied with Pwn Diddy now. Doopity doo to do to do. King and a queen for Pwn Diddy facing the raise from Raid Lots 5 4 suited. 10 9 8 flop goes check. Bet for two blinds. Pwn Diddy with the straight draw to the jack. Can't fold. Two over cards. We'll call. Deuce on the turn. No help for Raid a lot. They go to the river for free. Three of hearts. So just king high for Pwn Diddy. I wonder if a big bet would get the job done here on the river. Right a lot won't stick it in. 
We'll just show down the five high. Mm -hmm -hmm. Queen six for star wins on the button. We'll raise it on up. Raise a lot in the big with a king and an eight. We'll find the fold. Ace and a five for star wins. Boppity 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 boo. Raises it up. Quendon in the big blind with a ten and a seven. We'll call. Queen queen nine flop goes check. Do we bet the ace of spades on the flop here? Starwin says, yeah, we could put in a big blind bet and the bet gets through. Doopity doo do 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 do. 5 4 gets a walk. Ace king for raid a lot will raise. Looks like they'll take it down pre. Doopity doo do 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 do. Queen and a 10 for Starwinds. They've done a good job of climbing up into first place now. Made this straight verse 3 of a kind. That was a big ass pot. But then they just started putting their foot on the gas. Queen 10, they'll raise it on up. There was some other jankety-ass queen high that they raised. Raising the button wide. Raising from the cutoff pretty wide. King 7 suited looks like an open. 8-8 eight, eight for Pwn Diddy. Ace Jack for Raid a lot. We'll see a call by the 8s. Raid a lot might dunk it in here. They do. Starwinds will fold. And the question is, do we call with the 8s? They do. Jack on the flop. Boppity boppity boo. No 8 for Pwn Diddy. Raid a lot up to 60 blinds now. Pwn Diddy with about 40. Queen Jack for Lequendon will stick it all in. King Deuce suited for star wins. Might find the call here. Looking for the bounty. King on the flop. But that is a straight draw. Not going to hit it. Boppity 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 boo. Just like that we lose Lequendon. Jack in a 7 tries to limp it in. Right a lot raises up the king queen. Boppity boo. 6 and an 8 for Pwn Diddy. We'll just fold the button. It was suited and booted. Starwinds gets a walk with the King Jack suited. 8 Jack for Raid a Lot will fold the button. Starwinds with a Jack and a 5. We'll limp it on in or raise it on up. 3 blinds to go. And they take it down pre. Jack 5 on the button will fold. King Deuce for Pwn Diddy. Does this hit the muck? Goes for the call. Raid a Lot checks back to King 4. King Queen 9 flop goes check, check, 4 on the turn. That's a spade. Pwn Diddy makes the flush. Raid a lot makes 2 pairs, 3 on the river. Pwn Diddy bets a blind. Raid a lot finds the call and sees the bad news. Ace 5 for Raid a lot will limp it in. Star wins with a king and an 8. We'll check it on back. King King 4 flop. 3 of a kind versus Ace high. Star wins will bet a blind or so. Right lot will call. Pick up the straight draw to the deuce. Boppity 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 boo. Ace high could also be good here. There's still the spade draw. Five six is a straight draw. Open ended. Limp pot. Five two could be in there as well. Nine on the river. Three of a kind holds up. Eight point five blinds is the bet and rate a lot. Snap calls and sees the bad news. 10-8, we'll raise and take it down pre, boppity b, 6 and a 9, we'll raise it on up, nope, it'll fold the button. Ace queen for pwn diddy, we'll limp it on in, 10-4, we'll check it on back. Queen jack 7 flop goes check, check, 3 on the turn, boppity boo. Pwn diddy bets over the pot, 3.2 blinds into 2.24, and the bet gets through. King Deuce will limp it on in. 7 Jack for star wins. We're suited. Both players. 8 7 4 flop goes check. Check. 8 on the turn. Boppity 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 boo. Right a lot checks the king high once again, picking up no equity, just looking for a king. Star wins with that pair of sevens. We'll bet two blinds and get the fold. A6 for Raid a Lot. We'll raise it on up. 5-5 five, five for Star wins in the small blind. Boppity boo. Like to see a three bet here. They land on the call option. Don't know why a three bet would come in, but three handed with a pair of fives. Could have the best of it. Should have the best of it. 10, 8, 2 flop goes check, check, king on the turn goes. Hmm. Starwind's in the tank again here with those fives. 
we'll check it on over once again a six will make a pair on the f uh, river puppity 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 boo checks it on down wait a lot scoops a small pot five five for pwn diddy king jack for star winds five five raises king jack will play back in some manner Goes for the call, ace, ace, nine, flop, bloppity, 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 boo. King Jack will check. Pwn Diddy bets. King Jack will call. And we're off to the turn. Queen of Spades, that's a straight draw for Star Winds. Looking for a 10, a king, or a jack. A nine or a queen also get the job done. Did he sees the four of spades on the river? It's a good card for him. The board is his. The pot is his, I should say. Six big blind bet by star winds will get the job done. Represent the flush. Puppity boo, I see a couple of aces. Eight and a five for right a lot. We'll raise it on up. Star winds will go for the three bet. 8.5 blinds, and the three bet gets through. So star winds with 100 bigs now. Puppity boo. 8 and a 9, we'll raise and take it down pre. Ace Queen for Pwn Diddy. 8 7 for Star Winds in the big. 2.5x, Star Winds has given this one a tink over. Sees the big size, still plays call, flops a straight draw, looking for a 4 or a 9. 8 or 7 also work. Pwn Diddy with the ace high, the backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw, sees an ace on the turn. That's good news for Pwn Diddy. Board's not locked up, but. We'll go for a little protection bet on the turn here. Boopity boo, boop boo, boop boo. A few too many draws out there. Pwn Diddy bets large. Four big blinds into six. And Starwin says I'm priced out of the pot. Five five for Pwn Diddy. We'll get a walk. Boppity bop. Two and a three for Raid a lot. Gets a walk. Nine six for Starwinds joins the party. Eight and a nine for Raid a lot. We'll raise it on up and take it down. Pre bopity B Queen and a Jack for Star Winds. We'll raise and take it down. Pre bopity B. What's going on here? A walk for Star Winds. Huh. Poker Stars really needs to set these guys up here. Ace Deuce for Raid a lot. That's good enough for an open. And take it down. Pre. King six suited for Pwn Diddy will limp it on in or go for some sort of raise. They could land on the limp option. Staying consistent. Queen eight six flop. Both players with that pair of sixes. Right a lot with the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Two of spades on the turn is a complete brick. Right a lot needs a nine. Not gonna find it. Jack on the river. Pwn Diddy might put in a little bet here. One big blind. Right a lot quickly calls and sees the bad news. Aces. Aces for raid a lot. Pwn Diddy just fold an ace on the bu on the button. Whoa. Aces limp it in. Star Winds has a straight draw to the five. Also has a straight draw to the nine now. Raid a lot slow playing those aces very sneakily. Star Winds will bet three blinds. Boppity boppity boo. Raid a lot calls six of hearts on the river. Right a lot checks. Starwind might check here. They do and see the bad news. 10 6 for Starwinds. We'll limp it on in. Queen 8 for Pwn Diddy in the big blind. Boppity boppity boo. We'll check it on back. Ace 9 4 flop. All clubs. Starwinds with the ten of clubs in their hand. Pwn Diddy without a club. He's a one big blind bet and will quickly fold. A seven for Starwinds. Ba ba dee boo. Ba 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 dee boo. Bull raise. Jack eight defends the big. Flops a straight draw to the nine. Starwinds with that middle pair top kicker. Ba ba dee 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 boo. They bet three blinds into 5.5. 5. 
Ridlop might be priced out of the pot here. They do find the fold. Blinds go up. 3-6 for red a lot. We'll limp it on in. Star wins with a 9 and a 10 of the same suit. Could raise it up. Could just check it back. There's the raise to 3.5 blinds. Red a lot with a playable 3-6 suited. Says I'm going to let this go. Poppity boo. King 7 versus A6. Raised pot. 2.5 blinds. Pwn Diddy says let's go to the flop. King 10 8, top pair for Star Winds. Not much doing for Pwn Diddy, a couple backdoor straight draws. Does get a free turn if he wants it. No need to bet with her ace high either. Five of diamonds on the turn, all Star Winds is bored. There's the flush draw, top pair, boppity boppity boo. Pwn Diddy with ace high sees another check. We'll happily check back once again. Queen of Spades on the river. Star Winds will put out a bet here. 3.5 blinds and Pwn Diddy might fold to that size. They do. Ace and a 5 for Red Lot in the big blind. Star Winds with a king and a 9. We'll raise it on up. Red Lot will defend. Queen Jack 9 flop goes check. Do we bet bottom pair? Starwind says yeah for 1.2 blinds. Where a lot folds the ace high. Queen 10 for Pwn Diddy. Boppity boo. They'll raise. Starwind's in the big blind with a 9 and a 7. Sees the big size once again. He comes along to the flop. 10, 6, 5. All clubs once again. Both players with a club this time. Star wins with a straight draw to the 8, Pwn Diddy with top pair, and a fair kicker. 3 on the turn brings in another straight draw to the 4 for Star wins. Boppity boo, other than that they're still just looking for an 8 or a 4. A club is a bad card as they would both make a flush. About a half pot size bet on the turn. Starwind's in the tank. We'll find the call. Jack of Diamonds on the river. Let's see if Starwind's leads out for pot now. Oh, they check it on over. It goes check, check. And Pwn Diddy scoops it. Queen 8 for Starwind's. We'll do something here. 2.5x. Oh, they limp it in. 5-7 for Pwn Diddy waiting patiently in the big. Checks it back. King 8-5 flop goes... Check. Nope. Just kidding. Star wins. Bet's a blind. Don't think we fold bottom pair on the flop. Nope, we don't. King on the turn. Do 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 do. Star wins. Bet's two point five blinds. Into four point four. Pwn Diddy. In a weird spot with the seven of diamonds in their hand, they say, you know what? Maybe I'll just let this one go. Nice fold. Ace Queen gets a walk for Riddle Lot, then Ace and a 5 will limp it on in. Star Winds will bump it up with the 8s. Playing about 34 blinds deep, they raise it to 3.5. Star Winds goes for the 3 bet to 10 bigs. Or sorry, that's Riddle Lot. Riddle Lot, 3 bets. Star Winds will dunk it in. And Riddle Lot quickly folds. So it's a big pot for Star Winds. Boppity boppity boo. Won about 10 blinds there. 10 9 suited for Star Winds. Ace 8 for Pwn Diddy. We see a 3x raise. Pwn Diddy will play back in some manner. Go for the call. Ace 10 2 flop. Star Winds with that metal pair. Backdoor straight draw. Nope. Just kidding. Backdoor flesh draw. Yes, sir. Pwn Diddy blocking that with the 8 of diamonds. We see the 3 of clubs on the turn. Poppity boo. Aces are still best. 10 blinds in the middle. Star winds will slow down. Poppity boo. Pwn Diddy bit 
Pwn Diddy bet 6.5 blinds in a 9.4. Star wins calls King of Diamonds on the river. 22 blinds will slide Pwn Diddy's way. We'll see if he goes for 18 more. We'll just check back the river and see the good news. 10-7 for Pwn Diddy. King 8 for Raid a lot. Raised to three blinds from Pwn Diddy. Raid a lot calls. 8-7, 6 flop. Straight draw and middle pair for Pwn Diddy. An over card. Raid a lot with top pair with a fair kicker. Five on the turn. So one liner to a nine or a four. Six blinds in the middle. Right a lot sizing up a bet here. They land on the check option, nine on the river. Pwn Diddy makes a better straight, or a straight, sorry. I suppose a better straight as well as Raid a lot plays the board. Sees a pot size bet and will quickly fold. King Queen for Pwn Diddy. Duppity do. We'll raise it up and take it down pre. Duppity 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 do. 8 6 for Starwinds in the small blind. We'll see what he does here. Was going for the big sizing earlier. 2.5x. This time he goes for the 3.5x after switching it up to a limp. So he's doing a few different things there from the small blind. Very interesting to see. A couple of sixes will rip it in pre. Ace and a 10 will find the call, I think, for the 6k bounty. Ace on the flop. A heart will not work. Raid a lot needs a 6, but they don't find it. Pwn Diddy gets another bounty. 20. No, that's not Pwn Diddy. That's Starwinds. Starwinds gets another bounty. Holy shit. Queen and a 9 for Starwinds. Raid a lot. Nope, that's Pwn Diddy. Not Raid a lot. Raid a lot's gone. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's wrong with my brain right now? This is hilarious. How did I say Raid a lot? It's, raid a lot's gone. Pwn Diddy with the ace and the seven. Queen nine for Starwinds. Jack five two flop goes. Check bet fold then we're moving along. All right, queen 10 versus king three. Raise. Call. King jack nine flop. That's top pair versus the net straight. Don't you dare put a three out there, poker stars. We see a small bet. Pwn Diddy can't fold. Oh no, Poker Stars put a 3 on the turn. No, I said don't you dare do it, Poker Stars, and you bet your sweet ass they put a 3 on the turn. Star Winds will bet about pot. Pwn Diddy's going nowhere. Oh no. We'll put a king or 3 out there. Come on, Poker Stars. No, Pwn Diddy raises on the turn. They're in trouble. They need a king or 3 on the river here, or the game's over. Star wins all in, and we get the six of diamonds on the river. GG. Alrighty, so you know what? That's just a cooler at the end there. What a damn shame. Pwn Diddy played a great game. Boppity 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 boo. Same with Star wins. Where'd they start this bad boy off at? Star wins with 28 blinds. Holy shit, he's in second last place. Pwn Diddy with a fair stack. 65 blinds. But then there's Red Lot in third place. Starting this thing off in last place. Boppity boppity boo. Lequenin with the big stack unfortunately didn't get the job done. Romeo Pro had a lot of nice bluffing in there. Very fun game to watch from them. In the end, Starwinds gets the job done. Alrighty, that's the end of the show. So if you made it all the way through, thanks for checking this shit out. Hopefully we'll see you in another one. Till then, adios amigos.